Hey, coin collectors, it's DC on the Big D, and it's the 1982 Jefferson Nickel. You see we have one right over here, this shiny one from the San Francisco Mint. You can see the S down there. It says, in God we trust in front of Jefferson, liberty behind him, a star, and then the date 1982. This one over here is from the Denver Mint. You can see the D there. And then finally, this one over here is from the Philadelphia Mint. The Philadelphia Mint in 1982, they made $292 million. At a mint state 65, this coin sells for $90. At a mint state 67 plus, full steps, this coin sells for $15,000. When we talk about full steps on the nickels, what we need to do is actually turn them over. We flip them over onto the back, and we look right here in the center. So the back of these coins is all going to be the same. It says E Pluribus Unum at the top. See, this one's a little bit worn out up there. It'll have Monticello in the center. It'll say Monticello underneath it, five cents, and United States of America. And the steps, if there are any, will be right here. And I think this might have one quarter of a step on it. So this is where the steps will be. If you're looking for the steps, we can look on the S coin, and this is what they're going to look like. So if you can find a 1982 Philadelphia coin with steps that look like this, but but they're, they'll be shinier and they won't have this proof finish on them. One side all the way to the other. That's what a full steps version looks like. And that's what we, we'd be looking for on this coin to make this worth the big bucks. Let's take a look at the back of the Denver Mint coin and see if there's any steps on that one. So on this one you can see that there are some steps way up at the top here and maybe one that goes all the way across. Because this sticks out more than other parts of the nickel, you don't usually see steps on here, and you certainly almost never see full steps on these coins. At the Denver Mint, they made 374 million, and they'll all have the D right here. At a Mint State 65, they go for $42. At a Mint State 67 plus, they go for $7,000. And finally, at the San Francisco Mint, which is this really shiny one here, these are all proof coins. They made $3.9 million. The best one they've found so far is a Proof 70 Deep Cameo, and that's worth $160. Frequently, when we make the coin videos, we use the uncirculated mint sets for that year. But in 1982 and 1983, there were no uncirculated mint sets. What they did have, however, was something called a souvenir set. And those were only sold at the Mint, so you had to actually go to the Philadelphia Mint or the Denver Mint to buy their souvenir sets. And if you wanted both of those, you had to go to both Mints. Fortunately, you can get those online now on eBay and a number of other places. They go anywhere from $40 to $85 and up. The souvenir sets from the Mint will have the half dollar, the quarter, the nickel, the dime, and the penny. And here's a picture from the Coin Week website of the Philadelphia and the Denver Mint souvenir sets. And you can see that they'll have a half dollar, a quarter, a nickel, a dime, a penny, and this big token, which is about the same size as the half dollar. These were only sold at the Mint, so you actually had to go to the Mint. When you did your Mint tour, you were able to buy these. They weren't sold anywhere else. And so that's why there's so few of these, and they are extremely, extremely valuable. And you can see the 1982 on here. 1982 is the year many of you know as a transitional year for the penny. 1982 they switched from a bronze penny, you can see the center of it right here, it's just all the same all the way through, to a copper coated zinc penny. And that's the one that you can see right here, has a copper coating over a zinc center. They didn't transition anything on the nickels that year. The nickels remained the same. So from 1982 on we've had these zinc centered pennies. Canada also produced a nickel in 1982. Let's take a look at that. The Canadian 1982 nickel, of course, is going to be this one here with the beaver on the back. The George Kruger Gray design, the Thomas Shingles engraving. It says five cents at the top. It's going to have a maple leaf here, a maple leaf here. So it's Canada in the center, 1982. And you can see the KG over there for George Kruger Gray. You can see the beaver on a rock in the river chewing on a log. On the front of these, of course, is going to be Queen Elizabeth II. 
In Queen Elizabeth II, this is her second portrait, the Arnold Machen portrait. It says Elizabeth II, D.G. Regina, by the grace of God, Queen, and it has these pearled outer rims. Canada did do a transitional nickel at one point also, and here's one of them. This, in 1953 and 1954, Canada decided to, Canada decided to switch over to steel nickels. So the first two years of Queen Elizabeth's reign were steel nickels. And you can see this one is not even a round nickel. So they also transitioned from these edged nickels to a steel nickel. And this one right here, you can actually see some of the rust on it because it is steel and it is magnetic, it will rust. And so this is the last year that they made the steel nickels, 1954. And they just didn't look good. Uh, they would they were magnetic, so they would stick to things. And, and they decided that was not the way to go. In 1982, Canada did produce uncirculated mint sets and, and they also produced a special mint set. This one here is from the uncirculated mint set, and you can just tell by the shine on it. So look for these 1982 Canada nickels out there also. All right, well, that's all we have today from Big D Coins. Please subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you have in the comments section below this video.